Aaron with the locators, bringing you here at Bear Camp. I just want to show you how we're kind of rocking things with the uh, camp kitchen and the setup that we got for our outdoor kitchen with our six by 10 trailer that we're camping out of for a little bit of bear hunting out with the guys. So this is our camp kitchen. We've got a water on demand. We've got our little spice rack here. We've got a dual sink. A little bit of walleye for today's feed. Caught at Marie Lake. Uh, double sink. A little bit of extra storage space for cutting up stuff and frying up whatever you want. You've got a big, uh, a little, uh, big, big little area, somewhat for paper plates and utensils, cutlery, and all that. Also have a burner right here. Not hooked up right now because we're typically using the Camp Chef. But we got a full, not a decent sized burner. You can boil some corn, do whatever you want. Today we are cooking up some lazy cabbage rolls that we're just warming up that we pre-made. Pre-making all your meals before uh, before camp when you're camping like this is a is a good a good idea because you save on a lot of cooler space and stuff like that. And with not having any fridges in the in the trailer, like uh, let's just go have a look and see what we're uh, rocking with. Costco table works great for all the kids' toys and mud and garbage. First off, we made this little step here, aluminum. You kick off the mud as much as you possibly can and walk in or whatever. We've got a couple sources of heat. First off, we start with our Mr. Buddy heater. We never run that all night. Keep the, keep the vent open, let it go, warm it up, turn it off for the rest of the night. We've got our CO2 detectors. We're not silly, we're not stupid. Yeah, come on in. Check out the locator. Well, this is where the locator all started from. The locators it all started with naming the locator, the locator. But yeah, we did all this work ourselves. Basically came stock with just uh, just wood panel and whatnot. We've gone ahead and added a, added a power bar, the whole front cabin inside our cabinet. How'd you go? Inside our cabin, we got a spare tire. We got a bunch of storage. We run a battery. Which, uh, come on in. I'll show you how to turn these lights on. We got some switches. We got some switches here. And that turns on our interior LED light and our exterior LED light, right up on top there. Yeah, but I went ahead and added some uh, some grating. You know, just something to kind of hold up all your stuff knives, your axe, your stuff that you're not really utilizing. Battery operated uh, light, which is great. Everything stays in. Everything up here stayed in for the trip, for the drive. Uh, yeah, as you can see, we're living out of bed. Stuff like that doesn't need to be refrigerated. Canned goods, jars and homemade salsa sauce and all that good stuff that we are blessed enough to get. Um, Got some Cabela's bags up on the wall for some marshmallows and stuff like that. A little privacy wall. We do have a bathroom. One of the makeshift bathrooms that everybody makes. A little noodle around it. Add some kitty litter. You know, the ladies don't have to go outside at nighttime if you gotta go to the bathroom. Those all stay pretty much connected with that little latch. Also up top, we have a bunkhouse for my son. He loves it. Yeah, yeah. He's got his privacy curtain, bunk bed. It's just a tarp, which basically acts as a uh, as a hammock, so you don't need to add a whole bunch of, of uh, you know mattresses and whatnot. You don't have to do anything. You can just clip it up roll it up put it off to the side if you don't want it sometimes you use it for storage and transport most of the stuff falls out on the ground it's usually bank blankets and uh pillows stuff like that we are definitely making sure that mama is comfortable with her foam mattress me on the other hand i rough it my own personal preference uh just with the uh Guys, memory foam. It's really dirty. I think we're on day 
three today, so it's starting to get pretty mucky. The dogs are full of mud and it's been raining, so we've been having a good time. This bed operation is uh, one folds up, the other one folds up, and the middle piece comes out and goes off to the side. So they can be latched up in transport with these guys. We got four of these installed, which catch onto the eyelets on the top of the bed, which are bolted in. That'll be another video once we're all stowed away i'll add some pictures into this video of it all put away and all cleaned up and all done so thank you very much guys for tuning in hope we get a bear this year we're only on uh, weekend number one so wish us luck as we go okay thanks a lot for watching see you later so here it is all cleaned up everything stayed up nothing ended up on the ground except for the blankets that's your front to the side or the, the rear that's the beds put away you have enough real estate for all your gadgets I did do a lot of unloading already there's the beds put away and folded up using our eyelets